Today, I wanna to make a video on this channel about a camera that I think is incredibly underrated. I use it probably more than any of my medium format cameras or 35 millimeter cameras. It's not a Fujifilm, it's not a Mamiya, it's actually my iPhone. And this is a camera that I've loved shooting with so much over the past couple years. I don't really think it gets talked about enough for how capable it is, especially at the size that it is. And today I just wanna to make a video kinda of talking about my experience shooting with it over the past couple of years. I have a lot of photos that I wanna show you that I've taken with the iPhone and also a lot of video because I think it's equally capable at doing both. And it's just so much fun to use and shoot with if you treat it the right way. And that's what I wanna talk about today. Before I get started though, I do want to say this is not about iPhone 13 Pro Max or whatever the latest one is. This is about any iPhone. That's really not the point of this. I actually don't know which iPhone this is. I probably should have looked it up before I started filming. But it's got one wide lens and one non-wide lens that feels like maybe a 24 or a 28. I don't really touch the wide lens. This video is about the normal camera on here. I do wanna split this video up into two parts. First is photography, and the second is video. They're two very different things, but I use this camera both equally for video and photo. I've had a cell phone with a camera for quite a long time, and for the longest time, I didn't actually ever consider using this as a serious tool to take photos. It was more of something I would just snap photos of my friends, my family, the cats, whatever. And I think at one point my mindset towards this camera really changed. And with that, just I had a different approach with how I was using that. And I noticed that when I started putting the same amount of effort into taking photos with this camera that I did with some of my other bigger film cameras that I actually was getting a lot of photos out of this that I really liked. I think the point here is not that it should replace any of your existing cameras, but it does make for some really unique looking images. The resolution I think still kind of sucks because the sensor is so small. Like when you zoom in on an iPhone photo, it just doesn't look that good, but that's not the point. This isn't for shooting, you know, big advertising campaigns. This is for shooting fun photos that I would have missed in between anything with my big cameras. And I think the main thing that I love out of this camera is the colors and the way it renders light. I think that the colors and the way this thing transitions highlights into shadows is more film-like than any other digital camera that I've used. If you use, for example, a Fuji medium format, you know, it's got a huge sensor, crazy lens selection. This is very limited in the hardware department of things and you can tell that because of that it makes up a lot of those shortcomings with software and that's not necessarily a bad thing that's why i like this camera so much it just renders colors and light in a way that's completely different to any other digital camera i've ever used and i love that about it you can point this at any scene and it will sort of figure it out with software how to make it look good. That can't be said for just any other digital camera. There's just something about the way that it can render light and change shadows and highlights that the photo always just kind of works, even if the lighting is terrible. Then there's also the obvious, the simplicity of this camera. It's so small, it's always in your pocket. And when it comes to shooting it, it truly is a point and shoot. You get the exposure slider and that's about it. I think this camera actually changes my approach to my subjects in a really good way because there's nothing technical or fancy that you can do with this thing. There's no tricks to make the photos look better. There's no special colors. You truly just have to think about your subject and what you're shooting. And I think that is an amazing thing.
There's one more photography use that I want to talk about with this camera, and it's using it with photos to actually take notes for a potential bigger project. And I want to show you an example that I have here on my phone. The album for this potential project is just called Trees, and it's just a bunch of photos that I've collected as I'm walking around LA of weirdly shaped trees that I might want to go back later and properly photograph. It's super cool because I can see almost like a preview of what the project could look like if I really went out and did this properly. I love all these weirdly shaped trees and it even remembers the location so I can go back later and properly take the photo. Fun use for the iPhone. If you're not going to shoot photos on it, you can use it as a tool to help with bigger photo projects. Next up, I wanna talk about video, and you might have seen a lot of my footage from this phone already, because the truth is that like half of this YouTube channel is shot on this phone. And there's actually some really cool, I think, cinematic looking video that I've shot with it that I've used in these YouTube videos. So I put together a little video reel, I guess, of some of my favorite video clips that I've shot on this camera. So I hope you enjoy. So there it is. I know it's a little different than what I usually talk about on this channel, but I do just love this camera. I use it all the time and I wanted to dedicate this video to it. So let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I do want to give a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years at this point and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Peace.